conducted an experiment by filling two identical beakers with equal amounts of water. The temperature of the water in each beaker was different and he covered the top of the beakers and left them out on the table in a room. After 15 minutes, he made certain observations shown in the diagrams. Okay, so one look at the diagrams, I know that they're going to test us about hot water and cold water. Okay, so this one will use a bit of common sense. If you have a cup of water, right, which is cold, and you leave it out on the, in the room, right, at room temperature, what will you notice of the cup? I would start to observe water droplets forming on the outer surface of the cup, right? If we have a cup with hot water inside, where would the water droplets be formed? The water droplets will be formed on the inner surface of the cup. So one look at this, I know that P is going to represent cold water and Q is going to represent hot water. And then I will have my answer for A. Okay, so let us look at B. Suggest so a change that can be made to the water in the beaker in setup P to increase the number of water droplets formed. So the key thing here is to increase. I want you to picture this scenario. I have two cups of water, both cups of water are cold, and I leave it uh, on the table in the room at room temperature. How would I know which cup is colder? What would you observe? What is the difference? Right? I would observe that the cup with more water droplets formed on the outside right, would be colder. Okay, so how do we increase the number of water droplets? Right? Go back to that scenario, we decrease the temperature of the water in the cup so that we make it colder. Right? And how do we explain? So how are water droplets formed on the outer surface of the cup in the first place? The standard way of answering is that the warmer water vapour from the surrounding air comes into contact with the cooler outer surface of the beaker, loses heat to it and condenses to form tiny water droplets. So what happens when we decrease the temperature of the water? The warmer water vapour from the surrounding air will come into contact with the cooler outer surface but because now the cup is colder, right? the water vapour will lose heat faster to the cup and condense to form more tiny water droplets. Okay, so this is the answer for part B, right? How do you make it colder? You add ice to the water in the cup and then the water in the setup P would lose heat to the ice and decrease in temperature. So that's the first step. Once the temperature is decreased, Right, the beaker would then lose heat to the cooler water, so the beaker now becomes even colder. And then the warmer water vapour from the surrounding air will come into contact with the cooler outer surface, lose heat faster, so the keyword here is the comparison term, faster, right, and condense to form more water droplets. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.